Here's a piece of half inch PVC pipe. We use it mostly outside, particularly underground where it gets wet. So it's really great for that. Oftentimes we've got to bend this stuff in different ways. It'll flex some, but not that much. So how do you bend PVC conduit? I want to show you a couple things. One is how we actually get some pretty good perfect bends in plastic pipe. But also I want to introduce you to this. It's called the Bender's Friend. It's made by Racketeers and is specifically great for making perfect 90s. I'm going to show you how this works. Like I said before, we sometimes have to put bends in these things and the most common bend that you often need is a 90. You turn in a corner, you need to bend this thing into a 90, right? One of the most common things that people will do is simply buy themselves a 90 degree glue fitting. It's a factory 90, it's a perfect 90, it's quite lovely, there's nothing wrong with it. All you do is glue it on to the end of your pipe like that, glue another piece that way, and you've made your turn. It's okay, but there's a couple of reasons why I try to avoid using these things. One is it's a really tight 90. It makes that turn pretty quick, and that can cause trouble when you're trying to push and pull wire through it. But maybe even more than that, the reason I try to avoid these things is because when you use them, you end up with a glue fitting here and here, two glue fittings very close to each other at either end of the bend, and that's a perfect snag point for, fi um, for fish tape. That's why I don't like to use these unless I absolutely need to. Now, to be sure, sometimes you do need these. Sometimes you need a quick 90. Like for example, when we're coming up into the bottom of a, maybe a lamp post or a light pier and you just don't have much room, then this is perfect. But if you don't need to use these, I prefer much to make my own 90. If I can make that 90 here in the middle of the pipe somewhere, then I don't have a glue fitting and for a couple feet and my fish tape is going to sail right through there. So how do you bend this stuff? There's a couple of different methods, but the, the most popular, well-known, and I think for me the best is simple heat. Now normally electricians don't like to think about things getting hot, but when it comes to bending PVC, heat is your friend. So let me show you real quick how we get a piece of pipe hot. Behind me is a great tool that I use for heating up pipe. This is just a simple hot box that's made specifically for conduit. All you do is put the conduit inside. It's like a rotisserie, gets it super hot and it'll bend, the pipe will bend then. Now that's not the only way to get a pipe hot. These are very expensive. If you're not doing a lot of this stuff, you could do the exact same thing with a heat gun or even a hair dryer, but it's gonna take a while longer. When I'm doing a job, I usually have this with me and we simply open it up. See that heating element in there? All this thing does is get freaking hot. So close it back up again. You're gonna to wanna to put some gloves on because this thing is a cooking. And once the pipe comes out, you're not gonna really wanna to touch it with your bare hands. So we're just gonna spin this a little bit so that it gets hot all the way around and you know it's ready when the end um, on our left there starts to droop. See it? It's starting to fall on its own, under its own weight. Now, this is the smallest kind of pipe there is, so it's going to be a lot quicker than larger pipe. But, now look at it. It's like a wet noodle. Isn't that great? Now that this thing is all flexible like a wet noodle, let's bring in Bender's Friend. It's got three sizes, half inch, three quarter, and one inch. Since I'm working on half inch, that's the die we're going to use. So I'm just going to set this thing, get the soft part inside the die here and hold it in place, let the die do all the work. So now I can just walk away and go do something else, leave it alone for five minutes and uh, it should be ready. Okay, it's been a few minutes. The pipe has cooled off and has hardened into the shape we want. So mission accomplished, it's really as simple as that. You'll also notice that there are two other dies. This, this second one is for three quarter and the third one is for one inch size conduit. Okay, here comes the three quarter. And we got the one inch. 
pipe's a little dirty, but you get the idea. All right, so that's three perfect 90s in a very short period of time. I would say the best application for the bender's friend is when you're bending pipe that's gonna be visible. If you're just burying it in a trench, we don't care necessarily if it's a perfect bend. But when you gotta run conduit along a wall and up and over and whatever, you really want it to look sharp because it's gonna be there and people are gonna see it. So I really recommend this, give it a try. And now for that code I promised you so you can get 10% off at racketeers.com. It's Ask the Electrical Guy 10. Hey, thanks for watching.